Hello and welcome to Alexpo and today we are talking about Roy Keane. The Manchester United legend could be set for a remarkable return to management. He hasn't been in the dugout for absolutely years. In previous years gone by he was an assistant at the Republic of Ireland and Aston Villa and he also managed Sunderland and Ipswich but he's had a long time out of the game. He's been doing punnery work, he's been getting annoyed at basically everything but now he could be back as he is being lined up to be Lee Johnson's replacement at Sunderland. But how will he get on? Well, we're gonna find out, but there's gonna be a twist. Over the past couple of years, he's built up a, a, a somewhat strange relationship with Micah Richards. So I'm gonna make the former Man City defender, the man who burst onto the scene, I'm gonna make him Roy Keane's assistant manager. Can this unlikely duo take Sunderland up the football league? Let's dive into the simulation and see how Keane and Richards get on at the stadium alike. And if you haven't already, go on, drop a like on this video, you know you want to. Yes, that's the boy, come on. Right, here we are at the start of the simulation. We've just gone to the start of the season, it's the 5th July 2021. And there is Roy Keane, your Sunderland manager. He is back at the stadium of life for a second spell as manager. He left in 2008, he joined in 2006, did well, he got them up to the Premier League. Didn't have a great spell at Ipswich. Since then, he hasn't been the main man as a manager. But he's back at the stadium right. I've given him a contract until 2024. He's disciplined and he's determined. And he's got a familiar face in his coaching setup. There is Mika Richards, Sunderland's assistant manager. 33 years old. It's going to be his first coaching role since leaving Aston Villa. Retired there in 2019. His coaching attributes aren't great, but they can get better, surely. Sunderland, I've also given them Jermaine Defoe, their new arrival. Sunderland got probably the best squad in League One, at least one of the best, and should be favourites to go up. But can this dream duo of Roy Keane and Micah Richards inspire Sunderland to League One glory? And they've even got Jermaine Defoe leading the line. It's a throwback team for Sunderland with Mika Richards laughing along the way. Let's go a year into the future. Let's see how Roy Keane's first year back at Sunderland goes as he returns to management. Let's go. Right, here we are at the end of the season, the 12th of June 2022 and Sunderland are going up to the championship and they have done it automatically. They didn't win the title but they've came second behind Roy Keane's other previous management team Ipswich Town, they won the league with 95 points, Sunderland were 10 behind them, but they were still pretty comfortable going up automatically. They were 9 clear of Wigan, who came 3rd. Hoffman, the Sunderland goalkeeper, 10 player of match awards, 18 clean sheets and an average rating of 7.27. That is sensational from the German Sunderland stopper. What a season he's having on loan from Bayern Munich. 18 clean sheets in 42 appearances and Sunderland, of course, still managed by Roy Keane. He's content with things overall and happy with the team's recent performance. So he should be Roy because that is a second promotion you've achieved as a Sunderland manager. He's went from the Championship to the Premier League. Now he's going from League One to the Championship. But let's have a little look at his staff because, annoyingly, Mika Richards isn't there anymore. Within a year, Mika Richards has disappeared. He is no longer... Roy Keane's assistant, clearly sick of his laughter and his antics, Mika Richards has been binned off. What's happened to him? Let, let's see what happened. Mika Richards there, an unemployed assistant manager. Oh Christ, he didn't even last the full year. When did he go? He was released on the 23rd of July 2021. I mean, that's basically like two weeks after we start this simulation. Within a couple of weeks, Roy Keane was sick of Mika Richards and binned him off. He paid him off and they got rid of him. That is... Oh dear, oh dear. One year and it, it didn't even last a year. It barely lasted a week. The dream duo of Keane and Richards. Sure they can do sky bet videos and laugh in cars and have a nice old time doing punditry duty. But when it came to the actual work, Roy Keane said, Get on your bike Mika, you're out. Mika Richards is unemployed and Roy Keane is going to be a championship manager once again. Sunderland going up to the second tier. The top player, previously mentioned Hoffman, Danny Bath's done well. He's just signed in January. Patrick Robb is a new signing. He's done well. What about Jermaine Defoe? Where's he? 
Jermaine Defoe, Jermaine Defoe, where are you, son? Where is he? Jermaine? Is he gone? Let's go to the transfers. Has he just retired, or...? Jermaine Defoe. I, I genuinely did send him there. I, I know I did. Jermaine Defoe's retired. And he retired at the end of this. He, he played the full season. What we're panicking about. 38 League One games. 35 of them starts. 13 goals for the Black Cats. And that has played an important role in getting Sunderland back to the Championship. But that's where it's going to end. He was the second top scorer behind Ross Stewart. 13 goals, good from Defoe. But he's not going to be there for them in the second tier. Neither is Mika Richards, but he was barely there for them in League One. Roy Keane is a lone wolf now. He's on his own. He's he's scrapping. He's fighting. He's, his beard's looking grisly. He, he's probably annoyed at something. He's not going to sign Gabby Agbon in the hall. I'll tell you that for now. But let's go into year two. He's going to be in the Championship. Can Sutherland survive there? Last time they were in the Championship, they literally went from the Premier League to the second tier and they went straight back down and it was all filmed on Netflix and it was a little bit embarrassing. Hopefully this time for Sutherland, things go a bit better with Roy Keane at the helm. But will that happen? Let's find out. Right, here we are at the end of year two and Sunderland have survived in the Championship. It's been a solid season for Roy Keane as Sunderland manager. They've signed Steve Cook from Bournemouth. He's the vice captain, a good bit of experience there for Sunderland. And they have finished 15th with 58 points. They were well clear of the relegation zone. They were ahead of North East rivals Middlesbrough. I mean, it's barely the North East, but whatever. 58 points. They could have got into 14th, just denied by goal difference. In Ipswich, the other team going for up from League One, they were just three points ahead of Sunderland. So the two promoted teams have done really well. Portsmouth also promoted. They have also survived. But I mean, what chance have you got when you're playing in a division that's got Salomon Rondon leading the line for Nottingham Forest, the Golden Boot winner with 19 goals. But he's an ex-Newcastle player. We're here to talk about Sunderland and they have came 15th in what has been a solid return to the second tier for Sunderland. Made a lot of, a lot of signings. It's been all changed for Roy Keane. He's got rid of Aidan McGeady. Josh Hawkes has left. I'm sure he left in reality. Benjamin Kimpiok has gone. Pritchard loaned out. Denver Hume, he's gone in reality. And incomings, so many players arriving at the stadium. Like Steve Cook on a free transfer. They've got Onel Hernandez for a potential fee of £2.6 million, which is... Is it a lot of money for a championship team? suppose it's not nowadays. Louis Barry on loan from Aston Villa. A smart little sign in there. Lyle Taylor, a championship goal scorer. Troy Parrott on loan from Tottenham. FM royalty in the coming years. And these players have delivered survival for Sunderland. But only four of them averaged more than a seven. Elliot Embleton, Steve Cook, Parrott Roberts and Lone E. Kaoru Matoma, who is... A Japanese left winger, on loan from Brighton. Done all right. Not, not nothing too exciting, but not not appalling either. Goals: Louis Barry there, 13 Championship goals. Good season from him. Ross Stewart hasn't done quite as well. And Lyle Taylor quite disappointing as well. But based on this, goals have been really hard to come by for Sunderland. Louis Barry and James Collins, the two stars there. Between them, 26 goals. But other than those two, no other player got more than four. There's Ross Stewart on four and there's Patrick Roberts on four. Maybe they are missing Jermaine Defoe, but he's retired. He is no more. Well, he he's not dead. He's just he's just coaching and, and not at Sunderland. But last season, it was the clean sheets that were vital for them. But Hoffman's there no more. Instead, it is Matthias Sarkic signed from Aston Villa. Sorry, Wolves it was. He was at Aston Villa before Wolves. Only nine clean sheets, but I mean, still average rating 6.93. It, it's all right. Sunderland defensively, they seem to have been okay. And that has played an important role in Roy Keane finishing 15th back in the championship. And he's satisfied with life at the moment. For a man like Roy Keane, satisfied, I mean, that's, that's probably as good as it gets. But he's going into the final year of his contract. He's got one more year on the three-year deal he signed at the start of the simulation. Will he be staying on for longer? Will he take Sullen into a, a playoff hunt, a promotion charge? Will he get a new deal? This next year is going to be make or break 
for Roy Keane. So far so good, he's got them promoted, he's got them steady in League One. But what will Year 3 bring for Roy Keane, who no longer has Mika Richards in his ear just chirping away? What's going to happen in Year 3? Let's find out. Okay, here we are, the 11th of June 2024, another solid season from Sunderland. They finished 14th with 58 points, but the big issue is there have been a change of manager. It is now Danny Cowley who is the manager at the Stadium of Light because Roy Keane was sacked on New Year's Day 2024. After two years and 184 days, he was relieved of his duties. And he hasn't got a job since. He's not even listed as a potential manager, just an assistant manager. Available on a free transfer, and he's not even as determined as he was at the start of the simulation. The spark out of Roy Keane has been drilled out of him in good old Sunderland fashion. Where were they in the league when he was sacked? So he was sacked on the 1st of January. And on that day, they were beaten 2-1 by Nottingham Forest. I mean, it had been a pretty bad December. There was three defeats on the spin against Fulham, Luton and Preston. Where was Sunderland in the league? Let's have a little look. Past positions, Sunderland AFC. So on the 1st of January, they lost to Nottingham Forest and that left them in 20th position. They were very much in the mix to go back down to League One. It looks like it's been a late surge there from Danny Cowley's men to get them up to 14th and once again stable in the Championship. He made a lot of signings again. He got Louis Barry on loan for a second season. There's a lot of loans been made. He got Josh Bowler, decent little centre midfielder, Baba Rahman. But his new signings just couldn't get the job done for Roy Keane. And he was sacked after just over about two and a half years at the Stadium of Light. He ends his second spell as Sunderland manager. Eh, I guess it went okay. I mean, if he, if he does get the job and he gets them up, he'll be a hero. They're still in the promotion mix. I think Sackingly Johnson was pretty harsh. But Roy Keane would be a blockbuster arrival for Sunderland. A massively polarising figure who has been sacked on the 1st of January 2024. In 2007, he was named the Skybet Championship Manager of the Year. He won promotion to the Premier League. 17 years later, and he has been sacked by the Black Cats. But how will it go if he does get the job? Should he get the job? Should they go for someone who's had a bit more experience in recent years? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. As for Mika Richards, absolute disaster. But, you know... It is what it is. We will leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Alexpo. And until next time, we will see you around.